This video tutorial is brought to you by TipSquirrel at www.tipsquirrel.com. For all the best Photoshop and Lightroom goodness, follow at TipSquirrel on Twitter or go to Facebook.com slash TipSquirrel. Hi everybody, Mike Hoffman here, and in today's tip we're going to be taking a look at Photoshop's Clone Stamp tool. And more specifically, we're going to be looking at the Clone Source panel and using it to be able to clone symmetrical features within Photoshop CC. I've got a picture here of some rocky coastline and what I'd like to do is to take this crevice here and clone it a little bit over to the left and make a copy of it. But I don't want the copy to look exactly like this one. I'd like it to be more or less a mirror image running the other way to create a sort of an avenue along the rocks here drawing the viewer's attention into the scene. I can select the Clone Stamp tool by pressing the letter S or by choosing it from here in the toolbar. And when I do, I can hold the Alt or Option key down to set a source location. I'll choose this spot. Now if I move my Clone Stamp tool over to the left, we can see a bit of an outline of what we're going to be placing onto the image. And if I click and start to paint, we see two things happening. We see the cloned area being drawn and we see a plus sign showing where the source is coming from. Now once again this is not the effect I'm after. What I've done here is I've created almost an exact replica of this crack in the rock here and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to undo that by pressing Control Z. Now before we go any further I'm going to go over here to the Layers panel and I'm going to click this icon to create a new layer. And I'm going to work on this new empty layer and I'm going to place my cloned information on this layer so that I have a way to erase and mask and go back and adjust my cloning. I don't want to clone directly onto my background layer. The second thing I need to do when I'm cloning on a new blank layer is I need to make sure that I've set my clone stamp tool to sample all layers and not just the current layer. This way we'll pick up the clone information from the layer below. Otherwise we'll be cloning from an empty layer. Now we've got everything set up but we still need to address the fact that I want to create a symmetrical shape and not the exact identical shape that we have here. The way that I do that is by opening the clone source panel and I get there by choosing the window menu and then selecting Clone Source. This brings up a scary panel, but don't worry about it. It's really quite simple. In order to better understand this panel, we're going to start here in the bottom section and look at the Show Overlay and the Clipped Controls. Show Overlay allows me to see what I'm cloning within the context of my paintbrush tool. So within the circle representing where the clone stamp brush is, I can see the actual features that I'm going to be cloning. Notice this other control that says that the overlay is clipped. If I turn this off, it looks like the image has shifted, but really this is the image that I'm going to be painting on with the clone stamp tool. If I hold the option key down, I can select a new clone source. I'll click right there, and when I let go, you can see that this entire image is following my cursor around. We can see this even better if we adjust the opacity and take it down to maybe about 50% or less. Now we can see what the clone stamp is doing. It's working with this extra copy of the image. Now what I'd like to do is have this copy that I'm going to be painting onto my image be a mirror of the original. And the way that I do that is by clicking this icon here next to the width control. When I click this, you can see that the overlay showing what I'm going to be painting with the clone stamp tool is now a mirror image copy of the layer below. So we can place this about where we want it and simply start painting and we'll end up with our cloned image. But now that we've seen what it's doing, it's a little easier to change this back to clipped. 
because now we'll only see the clone source within the circle of the brush. So if I make the brush bigger, we can see those areas. If I make the brush smaller, again, we only see it within the brush. So we can drag out and create a second crack here in the rocks. And there we've created a nice symmetry. Now remember that we're working on a second layer here. If we turn this off, we see the original layer just below. So what we can do here is adjust the opacity, or we could add a layer mask. And if we add a layer mask, we can switch to the paintbrush tool and paint with a black color to hide some of the features and maybe disguise the fact that we've cloned this in. We can paint with black to hide what we've cloned and we can paint with white to restore it back in. So now we have a mirror image crack that we've created with the clone stamp tool simply by using the clone source panel and setting the width to be mirror imaged here within the clone source panel. Experiment with this. We can mirror image the vertical as well, and we can even adjust these values to change the scale so that the width and height are not uniform. You can also adjust the angle here to clone features on a different angle. So this is an interesting and little known feature of the clone stamp tool, and I hope that you'll experiment with this and try it out. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You'll find a variety of Photoshop, Lightroom, and photography tips, tricks, and other information there. You can follow me on Twitter at mhoffman2001, or you can find me on Google Plus by simply going to gplusmikehoffman.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's tip.